What's going on everybody? Tim's Tech Blog here and today I'm very excited to go ahead and bring you guys this unboxing and kind of like a first impressions review or I don't know a review is the right word but anyway just a first first look at the um, Fujifilm X-T2. So I ordered this from B&H and I chose next day shipping. Luckily I got in early enough um, on the pre-order to receive mine today. So here we have my X-Pro2 here that has served me well up to this point for the last uh, I don't know, six, seven months. Um, and now, with the X-T2 launch, I, I'm actually really, really excited for this camera. So, it's gonna be a quick unboxing, and then a quick little hands-on first look. First thoughts, initial thoughts, I guess. Sweet packaging that none of us ever really pay attention to. And then boom, right away you are presented with, um, let me check my framing here. Center of the table. Okay, so right away you're presented right with the Fujifilm X-T2 in the box. And this little seal here to ensure quality. Oh man, I love it. There it is. And now I have um, this mic set up make sure I'm centered too. So I have this mic set up, so hopefully you're grabbing lots of good audio. We got the diopter over here. Oh man, those feel awesome to turn. I was kind of worried about that because I actually don't like the way the dials turn on the X-Pro2 that much to be nitpicky. But the, oh man. Yes, that's pretty stiff too, nice and good feeling. The shutter button doesn't wiggle around. Oh no. ISO dial. It's cool because these have like a little, here I'll, I'll let you listen. I don't know if you can tell but it's kind of got like a muted feel or sound to it when you're moving the dials but it feels really really good. I love the lock. I love that. I love that all three parts of the exposure triangle are on top, you know, just like the um, X-Pro2. Man, that feels good. Rear joystick, LCD screen that comes out at a 90 degree, 45 and 90 degree angle, just like so. And that's not in focus at all. Sorry about that, guys. Um, there we go. So there it is. And then you have this that comes out, uh, looks like this way. Uh, man, it's crazy to see all the videos online and then finally have it in my hands. Man, that's pretty special. You've got the battery door that's nice and weather sealed, damp, solid feeling. S SD card door, dual card doors that, I didn't know if they had a spring or not, but they do have a spring. Or it does have a spring, rather. Nice and robust feeling, and that clicks in with authority. Oh man, this camera feels amazing so far. This little guy to change bracketing, um, low shutter, and then flip into video mode. So high burst, low burst. You know, I love how all the Fuji cameras are real tactile. You know what I mean? Not tactical, not tactile. I know they are tactile. They all have buttons and dials that operate something. So they're manual, but they're still digital. Um, and I love it. Man, this feels good. It smells like nice rubber. It feels so good in the hand compared to the X-Pro2. Um, I'm gonna continue on here with the unboxing, I guess. Set that down there for a second. Let's see what we have in here. Um, make sure that I'm in focus. Again, okay. See what else we got in here? I don't think there is much. Maybe the battery, the charging supply, and strap. Right? Yeah, so power, uh, charging thingy. Wall adapter, battery and strap and the flash oh yeah it comes with a flash that's so cool x pro 2 did not come with a flash which is you know that's fine 
because it doesn't really need a flash, but um, it's nice that they include it. Go ahead, and I'm guessing the battery is right here. So I'm gonna grab this. This is a new battery. It's the um, W126S to help with the 4K shooting that this camera now does, which is amazing. Basically, like, I bought the X-Pro2 because I wanted to get into the Fuji system and I loved the retro style of the X-Pro2. But then I'm, I also do video stuff. I don't know if you guys have checked out my channel or my other stuff, but I also do video. So having, you know, having missed out on, on video in terms of 4K and quality on the X-Pro2 was a bit of a bummer, but it was really nice to see it come back in the X-T2. And one, one other thing to note is the X-T2 has this awesome kind of spackled paint look on it. You know what I mean? Like it, it won't show scratches as easy. With the X-Pro2, it's nice. It's really slick looking. And it's kind of got like a glossy finish on it or a smooth finish on it, which looks really, really slick. But it attracts scratches pretty easily. Um, not attracts them, but you can see them a little bit more easy. Um, whereas on the X-T2, it's got like that spackled paint, so you can't really see it. Um, and it doesn't stand out just, you know, as much, which is great. Uh, ba -ba so let me focus now again down back. Cool. So, let's go ahead and get the battery in here. I'm trying not to smudge up the screen on the back because I am going to put a little screen protector on it because I do that with every camera that I have, the rear, rear LCD. I am a bit worried though because the X Pro 2 has a 1.6 million dot um, LCD on the back and this only has like I think a 1.04, which I off, I use the rear LCD to look at my images a lot, especially when I'm reviewing them, so I don't know if I'm the only one that does that, but I'm, I was a little bit bummed to be honest that it had such a lower quality screen as compared to the X Pro 2, but let's go ahead and turn it on and immediately it comes up. Let's see how these buttons feel. So I like to go year, year, month, date. Um, that was not set correctly at all. <laughs> 2016, today is, what is today? September 9th, so nine. Nine, it is 435. So now we got that. We have it all set up to, we've got it set up to the date and the time, which is great. Um, and let's get a stinking lens on it. I mean, the camera feels really good in the hand. It feels so much better. That grip feels amazing as compared to the X-Pro2. Like, I had to get this little thumb grip to kind of help with the um, X-Pro2 and, and how it feels in the hand, you know? But having it on, Having a more pronounced grip on the X-T2 is really nice because now I can really feel the pronounce, your, I can definitely feel how different it is. Um, one thing I noticed right away is on the back of the X-Pro2, the buttons, they've got that like clicky, real clicky feel. And I like that. I like how, I like how that feels and I like, really, really like how that sounds. On the X-T2, they're a little more damp. So I don't know if you can't, you probably can't hear that very well, but let's have a listen there. Yeah, pressing the buttons is just a little bit more damped feeling, but they still feel good. They have a nice solid feel to them. They don't feel like, they don't wobble at all by any means. You got the joystick right here. It's got the same, same-ish feeling as the X-Pro2. Yeah. Man, I really like that feel in the X-Pro2. Um, ugh, what am I doing? Okay, let's get the, let's get a stinking lens on it. Okay. So here we have So here I have the 35 
F2, then I'm gonna put on the XT2, and I just, I also pre-ordered the, um, the 23 F2, so let's hear how this goes on, actually. Solid. Yeah, no wiggle at all. Look how that looks, that looks amazing! Doesn't that look amazing? Oh man, oh man. I absolutely love it. I love how that looks. I love how it feels. I love the eye cup. I love the, the um, metering right here. It's got a physical switch for it as well. This goes between spot, centered, and evaluative, and then no metering. Man, that's awesome. It's got a function button there. Scroll reel on the front it has way more of a better press to it. Like that definitely, f like you get more feedback from that. Here on the X Pro 2, it's like this dinky little scroll wheel. Um, all this, this, this does feel like metal, whereas this kind of feels like plastic, I think. Yeah, so that's one little observation. This doesn't click in as much, like you don't get as, as a pronounced feedback from pressing in as you do on the X-T2. Like that feels way more pronounced. However, the dial itself is plastic, so it's got a like more, it's got more of a muted feel to it. Whereas this one's metal, and it's thinner, so it feels a little more chintzy, actually. The plastic actually does feel better. Weird. Interesting. Cool. One thing to point out. Both are metal bodies. Both are weather sealed now, and I'd say this little combo together, the X-T2 along with the X-Pro2, is like, I don't, I mean, I shoot weddings a lot, and I really, really want to get into just having a mirrorless camera or the X or the Fuji system for weddings because I shoot with Canons right now and they're great but they're just like I don't know the style of shooting that I have is more kind of like photojournalism I feel and I'm, I'm just kind of like hiding in the crowd capturing moments and I have a hard time doing that with a neck or with a Canon because as soon as I come up I've got like this big 85 L series lens on there 1.2 or a, you know it just looks like a big camera and as soon as you pull it up people start noticing that you're gonna take their photo and they kind of tense up so the thing I like about these is on the last wedding that I shot I had this as a second body or like a third body and I started shooting with this during the reception and people were just like feeling it man they were doing their own thing not really noticing that I was there um, I was able to come in in and out real quick and take a photo so being able to do that with the smaller camera bodies is amazing and now the the image quality on these are so stinking good that I'm hopefully gonna be able to start using this more exclusively just for wedding work you know um, the Fuji's cameras are so freaking cool and I really like that you can move the dials here the ISO dial is way more easy to, to move around on here than it is the X Pro 2, which makes sense because this one was a little more retro. They wanted to make it like a film camera, and I really did appreciate that move. However, in functionality, it's not as you know um, intuitive or as easy it is, as it is on this. So the eye cup's nice and big on here. I'm gonna bring it up to my eye real quick, and I'm gonna look inside, and you can see that and hear that. Let me, uh, oh look, we can do this. We can just go bleep, and I can show you the screen. And I can show you how fast it focuses. Let me just go ahead and... Okay, so here we go. Um, sir. That's insane. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, yes. Boost mode? I thought you could only do that with the... Crazy. I like that. You can change the focus points here with the joystick. Boom. You can change the size of the focus points. Oh my god. So, right away, like... Just look, let me take a picture real quick, actually. Holy cow, that just started taking like, continuous high, continuous low, single, okay. Single shot. Man, that shutter sounds pretty good, listen to that. If you listen to the X-Pro 2. Pro 
to XT2. X Pro 2. It's like the X Pro 2 has a little bit more of a slap to it. It's kind of thinner sounding, whereas this is a little more muffled, you know, but it's still really quiet. And it still has a very satisfying like clink at the end. I really like that sound. Man, Fuji, you are absolutely freaking killing the game. So not only does this thing shoot um, eight frames a second standard and then up to 11 with the little battery grip, I didn't get that just yet. Um, I'm gonna test this out and see if I really, really like it before I kinda go full bore with it. Um, but this video is getting way too long right now. It's about 16 minutes. This is just a really quick hands-on unboxing walkthrough of the camera and I can tell you guys the dials have such a solid feel to them. They don't wiggle around. You know, it doesn't really either on the X Pro 2. Um, they're pronounced, they're very high feeling. They've got such a cool feel when you move them right here. They're like in between each shutter speed or each setting, you can really feel it. It doesn't wiggle. It feels nice and damp, but it feels like it locks in, like solid, like that's not gonna get bumped and then the ISO dial feels the same exact way. Fuji, not only do you pay attention to like obviously image quality and feature set and quality overall, but you also pay attention to like dials and feel and sound and I really really like how you guys and girls over there are absolutely paying attention to that because at least for me uh, like taking photos like that, all of that, when all of that's taken into consideration, it definitely makes for a, an awesome end user experience. And just the fact that you guys pay that much attention to detail is, is amazing. You know, I don't want to like hype you guys up too much or brown nose you so much, but really, really, it's really, really, um, it's really nice that you guys do that. So thank you very much for, for looking out for us and really being there for us. Like everything just feels so freaking solid on this freaking camera. Um, let me just shoot a real quick, not even going into anything. I don't even have memory card in it. I'll shoot a little in 4K video here. And I haven't even checked my settings to see how to do that. But let's go into menu. Raw recording. I like lossless compressed actually. Film simulation standard. Video, video. Internal intervalometer. Dang. Okay, so that's 1080. Let's go 4K at 24p. Movie autofocus. Sure, why not? We can just see. Okay. So, let's see how the video um, works in this regard. Do any of these do anything? No, okay, so you start recording by pressing, I guess, the button, and it's shooting video. It's the very first 4K video um, with the X-T2. I don't know if it's set to autofocus right now, is it? Yeah. At least I think it said that in the settings. If not, can I just override it? Manual, okay. Man, it looks pretty good. My hand's a little shaky. You can really, and it really comes through on this 35 because it's basically a 50 millimeter. But you got all your settings here on on automatic. So if I just decide to change my ISO to 200 or uh, about 400, or, no, let's go 200, 400. My shutter speed, I want it to be 160th or as close to 150th of a second as I can to get a well exposed shot. And that's not going to like. Oh man, that looks awesome. 4K video on an X-T2, can't believe it. I love it. I'm gonna stop recording on the X-T2. And it's so cool that you can use a shutter button to do that. Um, man. And you just switch it right here, back to single shot. Flip my autofocus back on. You know, like the back, the rear screen doesn't look, um, looks great actually. I thought, where's the play button? Oh, it's up here. I thought having that, that different, um, 
less of a resolution of a screen was going to be make a huge difference. And I mean, it does. Like I can definitely tell the, that the X Pro 2 has a way better rear LCD when reviewing images. But like this is marginal. Like it's so, it's still really, really good. And so that I'm really excited about that. I'm definitely going to keep this camera. I'm definitely not not going to send it back. Nope. I'm keeping it forever. So. That is real quick and dirty. Not not so quick, but a real solid look at the unboxing and kind of going through that experience. So I hope you guys kind of got the feeling of that with me. Um, I'm glad to share that, have shared that with you. This completes my little Fuji lineup, X lineup here, and I couldn't be any more thankful and any more excited to have this as my setup. I've got the 23 millimeter coming in whenever that is officially dropping or shipping. But for now, I'm gonna use these two cameras for my everyday use, my daily adventures, my exploring, the trips that I have coming up. And hopefully that I, I can start using these for my um, wedding work. For some reason, I just can't make that jump yet. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm hesitant for some reason. But with each wedding that I shoot, I'm slow, I'm bringing these along with me and just starting to use them more and more, especially with my engagement sessions and my portrait sessions. I'm using these more and more. So that's a great sign that I'm able to kind of move in that direction. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm going to take the weekend or the next week and really, really shoot with this camera, take it to work with me every day. And just shoot with it, you know. I'll, I'll make some notes and I'll make a full review um, in in a, in a short amount of time. So if you guys have any questions or comments or requests or features that you want to see, you can hit me up on Twitter at Tim's Tech Blog. You can follow the images that I shoot. I usually like to tag the images that I'm using or the cameras that I'm using in each Instagram post, but that's over at Tim All Day. Um, but again, if you guys have any questions, hit me up on either of those social media outlets. Drop a comment in the YouTube link here. If you like this stuff, thumbs it up because it keeps me motivated to keep wanting to do it. If you don't like it, thumbs it down. That, may I, that way I know that I'll, I should just stop. That viewfinder inside, super bright by the way. And I can see quite a bit of a difference. And I'm not even in like boost mode or like 100 frames per second because I don't have the grip. So I'm definitely gonna get the grip, gonna start shooting F-Log. Man. This, this does feel more refined than the X Pro 2, I think. Does it? No, they feel, they feel they both feel really good. Okay, that doesn't bum me out as much because I was really bummed because I thought this camera was going to start feeling way better. Uh, but it kind of does. Actually, they feel really... St anyway, you can see on the top there, size comparison. I can't just... I can't stop recording because there's so many things I want to point out. The back, side angle view there. Boom, 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 boom. Fuji, you guys are killing it. I really, really appreciate it. In no way was this video sponsored by Fuji. I bought these cameras with my own money just to put that out there because I love the system so much and I love what you guys are doing. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Hit me up on Tim's Tech Blog on Twitter, uh, Instagram, at Tim All Day, and you guys have a great weekend. I'll catch you in the review of this video. Remember, shoot me some um, tips or suggestions or requests that you want featured in the video, and I will shout you out in and uh, make sure to touch on what you guys want me to. Cool. All right. Have a great day. Bye-bye.